Hi, this is Steve from the Google Apps Tips team here in the UK and online at gappstips.com. And on the usual social channels, you can find us on G Plus and on Twitter. Uh, today's video tip is a neat feature that lets you simply convert text to columns in Google Sheets using the split text to columns feature. So I'm going to show you that now. And I'm going to actually refer to a previous favorite tip of mine, which is use bookmarks to create new Google files. I want to create a brand new sheet. And there's a link here, create a new Google spreadsheet. When I click that, you'll see it will use the clever URL to create a brand new sheet. And you can look that one up yourselves on our gappstips.com site. So now I'm in a new spreadsheet, and I'm going to show you this tip. So first of all, I'm going to name my spreadsheet by copying this text from this sample data I have here. So I'll name my Google Sheet. And then you can see I've got some sample data here. Now this is comma-separated values, a CSV, if you like. And there are other ways to import CSVs into Google Sheets. But today I'm going to copy, Control-C, I'm copying, and I'm going to paste it into my Google Sheet. And you'll see that a little um, pop-up here to allow me to manipulate the paste. And I can use split text into columns. And when I do that, it's going to work out what the column delimiter was, which in this case was a comma. And it's used a comma. And it's put the text in to different um, columns now. If I change from comma, for example, to space, you can see it has a different effect. In this instance, it had the right effect because it, it worked out that it was a comma was the separator and wisely took that. I want to show you the custom version. Now, you can use a custom delimiter if you want to. So I'm going to create a new sheet here. And I'm going to go back to my example data and scroll down. And you can see the same data here, but this time the separator is a colon. A full colon. So I'm going to copy this text here. Uh, copy. And in my new sheet, sheet two, I'm going to right click and paste. And this time, I'm going to use the custom option, split text into columns, and then custom. And it will prompt me for the separator. And I'll type in a colon and hit return. And this time, you can see that it's separated based on the custom separator of a colon. And that is essentially it. That's the tip. I should say that if you're um, looking for that uh, particular um, function, I can select some text and find it from the data, split text into columns, based upon, in this case, a space. And you can see it will split that text into this column here. And you can use it in that way, too. So that's the tip for today, really. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Have a try out uh, with your own data and see how you get on. And let us know in the uh, comments below. And obviously, check out our many other tips on the gapstips.com website. Or come and find us on the social channels. You can reach us. I'll just scroll down here on G Plus and on Twitter. And again, thanks very much for watching.